today I am going to show you how to crochet backwards and forwards in rows as opposed to in rounds. Most of the time when people learn to crochet they learn to crochet in the round so granny squares or circles. Backwards and forwards in rows is a little more tricky just because you need to see where you're popping your hook in but once you've got the hang of it it's absolutely fine. So to start off with we're just going to make a slip knot and then we're going to make a chain and that's the basic way to start working in rows. I will first of all show you doubles, British doubles or American singles as rows and then we'll have a look at how half trebles look or half doubles if you're American and then trebles or doubles if you're American um, and then I'll, I'll show you kind of how the fabrics look a little bit different. So to get started I'm just going to do my normal slip knot, set my hand up and chain. Now because I'm doing doubles I am going to chain one more than I need in my row. So I'm going to I'm going to have 10 stitches in my row. So that means I'm going to chain 11. So I've got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight, nine, ten. So that's kind of the ten I need for my stitches. And then one to get me up to the height of a double. So it will kind of sit like that. Just how when you're working in the round, if you're doing granny squares, you quite often will chain three at the start of a round just to get yourself up to that height. So remember that a double is the height of one chain, a half treble is the height of two, so we would do two chain, and a treble is the height of three, and so on and so forth. But we're doing doubles on this row. This is the front of our chain, the little V shapes, and then the back with the little bumps. And we're going to work into the bumps. If you're finding that a little bit difficult, don't worry too much, you can just work into the Vs. So I'm going to miss my first chain because that's my turning chain. That is the one that gets me up to the right height to work. I'm going to go into the second bump. So that's the first, that's the second, and I'm going to go into there and work a double. Just completely normal. Then my next bump. I'm just going to work into each bump. When you first get started with crocheting in rows it's really helpful to actually count your stitches as you go um, or every few rows to count them make sure you've got the right number. If you haven't got the right number it's not the end of the world you can just do a decrease or an increase it doesn't really show too much with crochet. Just going into these chains can be a little bit tricky. That's why it's important to keep your chain nice and loose. And there we go, we've worked one, that's the end stitch there. So we've worked one row of doubles. Now I'm going to turn it around. So we've got the V's presenting ourselves on the front here. Once we turn it around, we don't have the V's anymore. That's fine. So I've turned and I need to do my turning chain now. So because I'm working doubles, I'm just going to chain one. And now if I yank this, you can see this first hole here. That's actually below that chain. So I'm going to work into there. And then you can see the next hole along there is under that chain. I'm just going to work into those gaps, making sure that when I put my hook through, I'm putting it through under both legs of the V. I'm going to work to the last couple of stitches and I'll show you where the last stitch is because it can be quite difficult to see. So, second to last stitch. This is the last stitch, which is a bit difficult to really see the stitch, but you can see 
when I hold it like that there's still a knobbly bit sticking out you can just see that the V is sat there so I'm just going to go below the V both sides of the V are on my hook and I'm going to work the double there we go so then you would turn and then chain one for your turning chain and that's where you're working into and you can just keep working in rows of doubles and what we'll do on the next row is we will work a row of half trebles which is the height of two chain on the last stitch last V hook through there we go and again we're working into the same holes but we're working half trebles so we're going to chain two now one two remember a half treble is yarn around hook through the stitch round hook through to the front and then yarn around and pull through everything Yeah, I'm on my last stitch now so that's the front of our half trebles the back almost looks like we've got V's on it if you see that and that's just because we've got our half trebles it makes a bit of a loop easiest way to see where you would put your hook if I take my hook out if we were working in the round and we were going to work into our half trebles we'd put our hook just underneath that V now if we turn it around you can see that, that means our hook is going in between this loop and the top bit so we're going to be working into those holes we're not going to be working into the bottom of the stitches down here we're working into that little gap up there again we're going to chain two as we are working half trebles it is the height of two chain so the first stitch is in there so I'm on my last two stitches and it can be a bit of a fiddle again to do your last stitch so I'm just pull it out there's your last V so your hooks going to go just below that it goes in there like that now if we were doing trebles we are going to chain three at the start because a treble is the height of three chain and then again we're going to work into there to our little gap just below the V I'll show you what the back of a treble stitch looks like when I've got to the end of the row and I'll show you whereabouts you're going to be working into your treble on the back I've done my row of trebles you can see how the stitch is getting looser it's just in the nature of the stitches so I'm turning again it kind of looks like there's kind of like little V's but just as when we were working with the half trebles down here where we were working in between the V and the little loop that was made I'm going to do the same up here and it's slightly more obvious so we're not going into this big hole we're going into the stitch so just below the V if you think of it in terms of if it were a chain you've got the V and the bump and we always work below the V so to begin the row again we're doing treble so one two three yarn around my first stitch is here so I'm going to go into my first stitch some patterns will say skip so many stitches or skip the first stitch 
Uh, it depends upon the pattern, but if you want to consistently keep your turn stitches, work into your first stitch. Don't work into any of your turning chains. Only work into your stitches. Last two stitches. And I'm working into the stitch. I'm never going to work into my turning chain. And there we go. So if I show you now, I fasten this off. This is what doubles look like in rows. And then this section here is what half trebles look like in rows. That's what trebles look like in rows. You can more see it on the trebles just because they're bigger stitches. But they kind of slant ever so slightly in a direction. And of course, if you were working in the round, they'd all be slanting in the same way, so they'd look a little bit more uniform. When you're going backwards and forwards, obviously you're going to have the opposite slant. So when you're counting rows, you just need to make sure that you count each kind of direction of stitch. And that is the front of the stitches and the back of the stitches. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like. And I will see you again very soon. Happy crafting! Bye!